The Maptitude Drawing Toolbar includes tools that you can use to embellish a map or to perform a quick demographic analysis. If the Drawing Toolbar is not visible, choose Edit, Drawing, Toolbar. Use these tools to add some text to a map. For example, I can choose the Freehand Text tool and then click on the map and enter some text here. I can also choose a font, style, and color here. And on the Frames tab, I can choose how to frame the text. I'll click OK now to add the text to the map. And then I can use the Pointer tool to move it, change the size, or rotate it. Now I'm going to double click the label to go back to the properties, and I'm going to change the angle back to zero here on the Size Alignment tab. You can put a symbol on the map by choosing this tool and clicking on the map. Right click on the symbol and choose Properties to make changes to the symbol. For example, I'll make it larger, change it to blue, make it a star, and click OK. You can draw areas with a rectangle, rounded rectangle, radius, oval, and shape tools. For example, I can use the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle here, or I can use the shape tool and draw a shape by clicking on the map and double clicking to finish the shape. When you use the rectangle tools, the shape tool, or the oval tool, you can change the style by right clicking and choosing properties. For example, I'll change this to a dashed line, set the fill style to solid, change the color, and make it mostly transparent. Use the radius tool to draw a circle with a specific radius. As I click and drag, the radius is shown here on the status bar. I'm going to right click on this circle now and choose Delete to remove it. And this time, instead of dragging a circle on the map, I'm going to just click on the map and enter a radius in this dialog box. Maptitude draws the circle with the radius that I specified. Notice the Radius tool displays a radius line and a label with a radius. If I right click and choose Properties again, I can change the border style and color. I can also choose the label size, style, and color, or I can choose to hide the label with this checkbox, or hide the radius line with this checkbox. For example, I'll uncheck this box and click OK, and you can see that the radius line is no longer drawn. Another thing I can do with the areas that I drew on the map is get information about the demographics for the population within the area that I drew. For example, if I want to know information about the population within the rectangle, the light red shape, or the three mile radius that I drew, I would right click on the shape and choose Export to Excel. Enter a name for the Excel file and click Save. Maptitude examines the map and creates an Excel file. The contents will depend on what layers are in your map and what country package you are using. But in this case, this tab shows the names of the populated places within three miles. And this tab shows the demographic statistics. For example, you can see here that the median income for households in this three mile radius is about $40,700, and about 151,000 people live here. Use the Line tool to draw a line on the map. Click at the starting point and any intermediate points, and double click to finish the line. Right click on a line and choose Properties to change the line style to add an arrow to either end of the line, or to add a label showing the length. To add a north arrow to your map, choose this tool, and click and drag on the map where you want the north arrow to appear. Choose a north arrow in color, and click OK. You can add an image to a map, such as a company logo, by choosing the Insert Image tool, and again clicking and dragging a location on the map. Browse for the image file and click Open. Again, I can use the pointer tool to move items on the map. I can also shift click on items to choose more than one, and then right click and choose a line, and choose an option for aligning the items that I chose. 
And that wraps up this tutorial on using the drawing tools.